I do, it's time for some Formula 1 2016. Um, I've had the game basically since it came out, and what I was going to do was rush through the career mode in a couple of days, and get up to where the real races were happening, so that every time a real race happened, I'd have like the computer one to put up on the channel. It's, you know, something to do. Something semi-regular. And, uh, I, I mean, it got off to a shaky start. I was enjoying myself, but I wasn't doing very well <laughs> in the results. Uh, basically, <laughs> when I picked up this game, I couldn't drive the damn thing at all. It was very, very bad. And um, I actually got fired from the team, um, which was a bit embarrassing. The team have had enough. They're serving you notice on your contract. I'm sorry. So what I've done is basically started again, I've managed to keep my job this long because I'm using really short races where you technically can't screw up. All you have to do is just jump everyone at the beginning and stay in the race. But from here on in, I'm going to play races of the quarter length like I planned to originally. So if I do get fired from the team, that's that's it. I'm done. So anyway, in all other respects, I actually really do like the game. Like, it's like a more finished version of last year's one. They've added all this career mode stuff where, you know, actually practicing driving the car gets you points for things and that's all really neat. And you know, it gives you an excuse to go driving around. Uh, before I would just skip practice because there was no point in doing it. But yeah, I can't bloody drive this fucking game. It's so bad. I mean, I am driving one of the worst cars, but that's still not really any excuse. Um, I can't put my finger on what it is exactly. It's something to do with turning in. Uh, I just, every corner, I can't seem to induce any kind of steering with the car without really cranking the wheel all the way, which of course, I think that's going to cause tyre problems in, in the long run and just, really, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. At this particular point, I'm willing to pay somebody to show me how to play this because, like, mentally, I feel like I can do a better job than I'm doing, but I can't get the car to turn. Uh, I don't know if it's something to do with the way I'm braking. Um, maybe you can watch a bit of me driving today and just, you know, fill me in on what exactly I'm getting wrong. As I said before, though, in all other respects, the game's great. Uh, I love the little cutscenes. The, the uh, sexy female agent that comes in. I'm Emma Jenkins. I'm a specialist in contract law, and I've been brought in to work as your agent. I assume that all sounds fine. <laughs> well in my first career, where, where she comes in and you know tells me that McLaren is sacking me, I, I really, I did start to crack a bit of a boner when she was getting all severe and stern with me and stuff. Look, I'm good at my job, but there's not much I can do if you're not holding up your end of the bargain. They need to see better results, and soon. Understand? And she's got a body that won't quit. You know, it's just those, those legs. Amazing. And the, uh, the research guy, the R&D, I call him Randy, because he's from R&D, and um, he comes in and gives you upgrades. And he's a bit of a creep. I get a bit of a pervy vibe from him, the, the quiet way he talks to you about, you know, the upgrades. Check them out, why don't you? I don't like him very much. I think there's something going on there. That's all for now, but I'll keep you up to date, okay? I'll see you soon. And, and while I have the floor, there's just something I want to talk about for these Formula 1 videos. I watch a few other channels play these games, right? Just, you know, to keep in the loop and see what's current. And I've noticed there's a trend that I'm really not happy with. A lot of these guys tend to say... They, they use this key phrase a lot. And it's started to stick out like a real sore thumb for me. They always say, in terms of. It's just three simple words. And you think, okay, Scotty, you're being ris ridiculous. What are you seizing up on this for? This doesn't mean anything. I'm, you know, I watch these guys, and they do it all the time. I, I, one video, I counted the guy saying it eight times. Altered in terms of handling, in terms of the driving, in terms of Baku, in terms of thin, in terms of content controls now, in terms of input. It gets to a point where it's worse than a verbal tick. Like, you can just tell that it's become their version of um and ah, or like. Or, you know how the teen girls used to say like all the time. And I, I, I don't just want to hate on these guys. I'll play you some clips just to show, to prove that I'm not insane. I am hearing it an awful lot. In terms of the, their, um... In terms of the championship. Fairly okay in terms of that. In terms of, in terms of pace. In terms of the resource points. In terms of the menu. In terms of just everything. In terms of a race. In terms of earn. In terms of your lap time. In terms of the episodes. In terms of, in terms of co-op. In terms of the tire wear. In terms of the tire In terms of the tire wear. Beaten in terms of my time. In terms of a, uh, race victory but in terms of lap times out in terms of pace in terms of the the kind of style in terms of the resource points in terms of how many seasons we'll end up doing in terms of fuel yeah in terms of the actual style in terms of going fast now in terms of the fun factor and all that kind of thing but just to show that i'm not hating on these guys i've noticed i use a couple of key phrases as well and i think i'm seeing them a lot on, on youtube videos by people who do what we do i say at this point too much or at least i think it i'm trying to stop myself now and i also say i feel like Again, these are ones that I've seen my, or heard myself using, but I'm also seeing them externally. So I'm trying to just stop these 
three word phrases from peppering my speech because they give the impression that I'm not really speaking to you guys thoughtfully. Like I'm kind of rattling stuff off. I don't like it. I think we should all try harder when we, when we do commentary. Um, that's just how I feel. I mean, <laughs> far be it for me to hate on professionals. You know, these guys are a lot more successful and uh, good at what they do. Um, but yeah, I've been watching these videos a lot. And I mean, right off the bat, I've, I've, I've given them a hard time for saying uh, in terms of, right? And I've pointed out that I say I feel like and at this point. Or at least I think them. Again, I'm trying to curtail this. But you could build the whole beginning of a sentence using just those three or nine words. You know, it'd be like, uh, I feel like at this point in terms of... I mean, that could easily be in any one of these guys' videos. And I just... I have to ask myself, are we really doing the best job we can? <laughs> anyway, I, that's just been bothering me for a while and it didn't deserve its own video. In terms of the Monza Grand Prix that we're about to drive, we have qualified at the back. Now, for a guy that's been practicing for weeks now, you'd think I should be higher than that. It, the news isn't all bad though, because before I was behind the back of the pack and now I'm basically at the back of the grid. So I've sort of come up a bit. So practically there's no real improvement there. You know, I haven't really earned any positions as such, but I know personally I've improved, which is good. And I, 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 did, I did do a little better on some of the other tracks when I was doing all the practice stuff where you get research points and stuff. I was doing a little better. I was occasionally finishing off the bottom. Um, whether I have any recorded proof of that, I couldn't tell you. Um, but yeah, some tracks I do really badly. Like Austria was terrible. For some reason, Austria seems like the easiest one. But I, I was very bad there. So yeah, I'm going to do my level best to uh, dive bomb at the start of this Italian Grand Prix. I'm really going to do my best, but now that I'm on the 25% races again, you have to do a pit stop. And uh, so that really does negate the value of a good dive bomb because say you dive bomb in like the middle of the field and you get like 10th or something that's pretty good it's a good position it means the team won't fire me because i'm achieving but once you throw pit stops in there you kind of, that kind of exposes the fact that you are driving very slowly because everybody else just jumps you i do expect to be fired before the end of the season but anyway <laughs> enough of that doom and gloom and me picking on other people's speech patterns there's so much i wanted to say in this video um but yeah, we'll have to just get down to the driving now. Stop fucking around. And uh, yeah, take it easy, guys. Don't hate on me. I know I'm not an established Formula 1 YouTuber. Uh, you know, I'd love to be, but I'm just not good enough at the driving. Um, but if you can help with that, please do. I mean, I'm, I'll show you as much of my driving unedited as I can, because I do like to trim these videos and make them less boring. But if you just see me doing anything wrong with the braking uh, and the steering, just, just the overall control inputs. I'm, I'm go at the moment, I feel like it's something to do with braking on turning, because I do my braking, and then as I come off the brakes and I start to turn, I feel like, aha, it's a, I feel like at some part of that procedure I'm getting wrong. So just keep your eyes on it for me. If you see me doing anything really obviously stupid, tell me what it is, because I want to work on this. I want to get better. Uh, anyway, that's it from me, <laughs> for now. Might be time for a fisherman's friend, guys. What do you think? I'm gonna stay cool. Calm and collected. Home to so many records. So, home to so many Italians. <laughs> nice one, Croppy. You work on that, did you? Okay. I do like the pit lane thing, but I think the grid girls could have outfits that have a little more variety. They all seem to wear basically the same thing in every country with, you know, different colours. I think I should uh, give Codemasters some input about, you know, what, what grid girls could be. I'm just saying. Also, um, you may have already noticed from some of the footage I played before, I've made my McLaren nice and white and red, because uh, I thought, you know, the current paint job is so miserable looking. Um, but I can't figure out how to skin this thing properly to make it look like the old one, you know, with the red, the cigarette, the Marlboro thing down the middle, so... If anybody can figure that out for me, give me a buzz. We are starting in front of our teammate, because I bumped him off during qualifying, and the game didn't seem to pick it up, so... Oh, I really had to concentrate then, and even then it's a shit start. Try and dive bomb anyway. That's what I, uh, that's what I call a dive bomb. Yes, the dive bomb of dive bombs. Did we get our wing? Out of the way, Verstappen. What is this? Just out of my fucking way. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, like I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a real Formula One driver. I'm too busy playing with the knobs to concentrate on what I'm doing. 
Oh wow, that's bad. Okay. Okay, no more fucking around. Now I'm gonna drive properly. Oh shit, the Lesmos. I hate this fucking part of the track. I cannot drive here at all. Like, I mean, I'm usually bad, but this is even worse. Okay, I gotta concentrate now. Ah, oh, I gotta stop this thing coming up on the screen. Fuck off. Think, Scotty, think! Are we still in rich? Here we are. We just got a slow car. There's nothing we can do. We're gonna get mugged. Oh, oh God. They're all over us, guys. There's nothing I can do. This really is like the Death Star Trench. They're not actually going to overtake me though, I think they're waiting for me to make a fuck up. Which is a weird thing for a computer player to do, believe me, but... It's coming. It may not have happened yet, but it's coming. We're running in 8th, which is about 10 places above where we should be. <laughs> Again, who doesn't love a good dive bomb? I mean, I think it's a legitimate strategy. I think it works. Oh, see there's that lack of turning that I'm talking about. I just can't get the fucking thing to turn when it really counts. Oh, braked way too early then, and now we're oh, getting all out of shape. Hulkenberg is coming up pretty fast. We're going to try and stay ahead of him. Take this corner slow, back them all up into each other. Hopefully they'll have an incident or something. We're still a rich mixture. We're not going to have any petrol left at the end of the uh, end of the match. Are these races preferred to as matches? Like in soccer or...? Oh, it's like being hurt! Oh, we got all out of shape there in the last corner. And Hulkenberg took us fair and square. Yeah, look at that! Look at that Honda power! Oh. Let's try and stay on this inside here. Oh, lock up! Oh, I Rosberg it. Oh, very squirrely there. Perez, Perez is coming on us. Oh. Let's bump him off into the gravel. Muscle past him there. That was pretty bad. Wouldn't be surprised if I got some sort of penalty because that was really scrappy driving and I'm sure I hit somebody. Oh. And that is how you take parabolic like a man. <laughs> no, I mean, this is shit. I can't drive. See, I mean, I don't know. If you just watch my steering wheel then, I had to apply... I feel like more lock than I really should have to. Is that a sentence? I just think I'm applying way too much wheel lock for the turns I'm doing. Oh shit, he's telling me to use less petrol. Great. Anyone would think there was an oil shortage. Oh my god, I just had someone get smacked. Oh, someone's off the track! And I got a warning for a collision with Hulkenberg. Oh boy. Verstappen's coming. And the young, horny 18 year old will not be denied. Ugh. Let's fuck him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is desperately bad. I'm having to dive off the track to keep my positions and just desperately try and drive into the computer. There's no chance. I'm screwed. This fuck Gutierrez. Oh, no, no! He's getting away! He's getting away! No! Get back here! Now, that's something else I don't like about this. The uh, mechanic will get on the radio to ask you about strategy changes and shit. First of all, he seems to do that every time you bump the wing. He, there's no, like, way for him to just say, can you please come in and fix the wing? You've got... Oh. There's some damage to the car. He should have a voice file for that. And second... The way he asks, oh, do you want to come in and change the strategy? You've got to press, like, buttons and shit and look at the menu, and I can't do that. I haven't learned how to do that without looking at it yet. And it's always mid-corner as well. It's like, yeah, do you want to change strategy? Oh, okay, yeah, I'll just press button three. Which one's three again? Oh, it's very bad. No, it's not... I'm, I'm bad at it. Jesus. 
that is how you take the Lesmos at a really slow speed. There was some crashes in the corners back there, we bought ourselves some time. Shut the fuck up, Jeff! You're fucking me up here! Okay, we still gotta- Ooh, look at this! Oh, they're all stopping now. Shit. <laughs> Let's fuck metal up. Okay, so basically, uh, a little bit of an update on my situation here. I've just overtaken Vettel, and uh, he's coming out of the pits on new tyres, so I'm actually not really racing him as such. All I'm doing is ruining his life and making him miserable. Yep, there he goes. Yep, there he goes. There's no holding him back. Oh! We should push Hamilton off the road. What do you reckon? Thanks a lot, Hamilton! I'm gonna hold these guys up as I go into the pits. Well, that was pretty slow, but I don't think we're gonna get it any better than that. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks for the spit shine, boys. Oh, people are coming up behind us. Mass is coming! Out of the way, Dumbledore. Okay, we got him. A bit of a situation update. We've come out ahead of Massa. We're gonna do our best to stay in front of him fair and square, but if I know this Honda, it's probably gonna take some dirty dealings and some deliberate crashes to keep them behind us. There's no real competition between these two cars. Oh, drive him off the track! I think that car's faster in the gravel than mine is on the on the tarmac. If I'm completely honest. All right. A big gaggle of cars behind me. It's not a. It doesn't look like a train because they're not actually straight on my bumper, but it is a train basically. These are guys that are stuck behind me through no fault of their own. I'm just looking at the race director, and there's three people ahead of us that haven't stopped yet. And they're probably going fast enough that they'll be able to make up that difference and still come out of the pits in front of me. Which is a really, really depressing uh, concept. But, um, we'll see if we can't keep our spot. Oh, they're all bunching up behind me! I can see those arrows! It's pretty ominous. Oh, crap. Let's pull my foot down and the car started to go everywhere. Everywhere but straight. You know, I will say this, I've watched a lot of crashes this year and little incidents and drivers losing control of their cars. And this game must be pretty accurate, because all my fuck-ups look like the ones from the TV. This is where they're all going to have the pussy flat open and they're going to come right up behind me. Here we go. There's no stopping them now. Let's switch to the inside. Yeah, make it stick. Sucked in. Oh, shit! Oh, Jensen's got front wing damage. What a poor... Oh, that poor man. Okay, somehow we managed to keep our spot then. So you know what, I think the real race would be more interesting if it was like this. This reminds me of what it was like when Maldonado was racing, just constant brain farts and collisions. I was talking about those guys doing pit stops and coming out in front of me. I think that's one of them. So that just goes to show you guys, my, my, lap, my lap time deficit is so great that the enemy cars just have to do little pit stops and they'll come out in front of me. Which is kind of depressing, but, you know. Pfft, I'm crawling around that corner, I don't know what's going on. I'm just not concentrating. But even when I do concentrate, I really... Uh, see, look, I had to do full lock then. Just to get the car around the corner. That can't be right. Oh, yeah! Jumped on the brakes then, mid-corner. But it paid off. I mean, you know, did I do anything wrong then? Was there any real... It wasn't polite racecraft by any uh, any stretch, but I mean... It wasn't the wrong thing to do, was it? Okay, here we go. They're bunching up behind me here. Like a cheap pair of underwear. There ain't no stopping them now. Here we go! There's one of the Haas cars! Oh, slamming on the brakes! Yeah! That's what you do. Oh, there's been a collision behind us! 
Is he okay? Is he alive? Who cares? <laughs> okay, we're P9. And I mean, really, that's... The only reason we've still got any kind of position in this is that incredible dive bombing on the first lap. And, uh... We could lose this position at any minute. If one of these guys gets past me. Oh. All those dirty dealings I'm doing on every overtake they try and pull. They aren't guaranteed to work forever. Oh shit, here he comes. Gookie errors. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that was pretty bad. See, now if this was a real race, I'd probably get a penalty for that. But it's not, that's the beautiful thing, you know. This <laughs> different rules apply. Oh, overshot the corner. I mean, you shouldn't be taking that corner with any kind of opposite lock, but there I am. There's no stopping Grosjean. Oh, break early, break often. Oh, man. That's how you seal the deal, Scotty style. Ooh. Oh shit, threading the needle. Wind the bobbin up. Okay, here we go. But uh, we didn't really keep any speed coming out of that corner and Grosjean's taking us again on the back straight here. Let's try and get clever. Dice with him on the end of Parabolic here. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hold it for long though. Put it back up in the ridge. Oh, we've got Pussy Flaps! How about that? Pussy Flaps is the derogatory name that I give the DRS system. And, um... And what do you know, we had them for some reason at the end of that lap. Didn't really help us. Uh, the enemy are right with me again, but, um... We've only got to hold this position for, like, a couple more laps, one more lap, I don't know. These guys desperately want my ninth place. But they're going to have to take it. Oh, final lap, guys. This is where the real drama begins. Oh, this engine's about to die with all the strain. Oh, yeah, take signs. On the inside. Oh, he's bumped me! Well, he shouldn't have fucked with me. He's off into the gravel, I think. Well, that was anticlimactic. Kimi Raikkonen's won the race. Boy, is that going to make those Italians happy. I will say this is Formula 1 2016. It's a little more representative of what the thing, what, what the real Formula One should be like, um, as far as you know, the teams being a bit closer and uh, people watching, not really knowing who's going to win. Hopefully, it'll be like that again in a couple of years, because <laughs> this whole Mercedes thing is becoming a bit of a joke. Any uh, World Drivers Championship where Nico Rosberg is in contention, uh, you know. It's not really a driver's contest anymore, it's a, uh, engineering one. I'm doing so bad. <laughs> oh man, when I'm, when I'm talking I forget to upshift. I think that, that alone is going to need an engine rebuild. Okay, Grosjean's coming up, but he's not coming up fast enough, and boom. Oh, yeah. Surrounded by a bunch of cheering, gesticulating, shouting, overjoyed Italians. My problem is that I don't want to just jump in a better car and see if I can drive that any easier. Like, I'm in I'm in one of the worst cars just to see if I can improve in that. I don't know. So if you can give me any feedback on just, like, on the inputs, how much steering I'm doing, what the braking and the accelerators are, you know, just... If you can give me any help at all, please do. See, if you just look at the lap times here, I'm the slowest driver. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Guys, I know at some point I'm just going to hit my talent wall, and that's as good as I can get, and I can't get any better, but I don't think I'm there yet. I think there's just something to do with the, t the steering in this game that I don't understand. Um, I, I even went to the ridiculous extent before of recording the computer doing a couple of laps and then rep recording myself and comparing the videos. This is what I do with my spare time. And it just, I, I'm, I'm more or less, I'm in the right spots trying to turn and do what the computer does, but I just can't get the fucking thing to respond, so I have to slow down and get it to turn more. 
So just convincing the car to turn is something I need help with. So if you can just find anybody that knows how to play this game decently, I will, I will pay you to coach me. Real money, real cash money. Come on your way. Okay, I watch the replay, I take it all back. I just suck at racing and there's no helping me. <laughs> no, I mean, when I'm driving, I can see what, where the car's supposed to go and I know what to do, but I just can't do it. And maybe it's like juggling or good dancing. Maybe it can't be taught. Maybe I'm beyond help, but anyway, if you have any feedback at all that you think could help, please do offer it. And uh, yeah.